here. Elon Musk plans to roll out robo taxis. Ooh, this was fucking awesome. So the other day, um, Tesla announced a um, introduced sorry announced a um, autonomy um, an well. autonomous an autonomous vehicle live stream or presentation essentially where they're basically debuting the advancements that they've made in auto in their kind of autonomous technology the self-driving cars and how you know what the next kind of what the roadmap looks for the future going on and essentially um elon musk kind of announced something that not a lot of people knew anything about and it's basically essentially his plan to introduce robo taxis to the fleet of um teslas that he has available at the moment um the general premise of it is um, anyone that has a Tesla now, anyone that owns a Tesla can essentially um, rent them out or hire them out to Tesla in the Tesla network in the same way that you would do Airbnb if you own your own flat. Uh, you essentially would add it to the Tesla network of robo taxis that would then essentially drive the car out of your driveway to a particular person who wants to pick it up in the same way you would do with an Uber. And then they basically use the car however long you have it, you have it available for the time period if it's over the weekend or whatever it may be. And then Tesla will take a portion of the profits, like 20 or 30 percent, and you'll keep the rest. So it'll be a way for you to earn money with the vehicle that you have um, whilst using it, whilst people use it at the time that you don't really use it. And I think he basically made a stat where most people only use their cars Monday to Friday when they're, you know, hustle, um, moving back and forth for work and stuff. And essentially, it's going to be another realm of in, a revenue stream for Tesla um, outside of them making cars. And it might obviously then affect the way that they're going to streamline the production of their cars. But it's an amazing, 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 amazing idea. I'm going to play the quick video of it now that kind of talks about it. And we're going to talk as we go through it. I feel very confident in predicting uh, autonomous robot taxi for Tesla next year. Tesla's Autonomous Investor Day saw CEO Elon Musk unveil plans to roll out 1 million robo-taxis by next year. Described as a cross between Uber and Airbnb, the service will allow Tesla owners to rent out their autonomous cars as taxis. It's amazing, isn't it? Using How cool that is. Effectively making some cash on the side. Robo-taxis can essentially be any Tesla vehicle with autonomous driving functionality. Here's how the program would work. So if you own the car, you can add or subtract it to the Tesla network. And Tesla would uh, take uh, 25 or 30 percent of the revenue, um, and uh, and then in places where there aren't enough people sharing their cars, we would just have dedicated uh, Tesla vehicles. That is amazing. So they're gonna end up, you know, designing a whole fleet of Teslas, or you know, putting putting on the street. I wonder if they'll probably have them in a particular color or something. And they'll have them just driving around, which is gonna be fucking awesome. But it also goes to points to the future of Uber which I think a lot of people have kind of um, speculated that they were going to move eventually to autonomous vehicles in some um, urban locations. It makes sense that they would kind of use that kind of technology in order to kind of build on top of it. But the Tesla network is something that they're only using. It's only kind of, it's only kind of, it's in the walled garden of only Teslas. But I'm sure I have a feeling in the future this might develop and other, other brands might end up partnering up with Tesla. Because I think if you're Uber, but actually they did, right? Uber recently did acquire the company. I forgot the company's name, but they did acquire a company for 600 million odd that was developing autonomous vehicle technology. I forgot what the company was called. So they might, they've, I kind of think they absorbed it in within, te within Tesla. So I'm not sure how far they are in the development stages of that. Um, if they're going to then end up partnering up with them. Because I know, because um, that was the issue with Google Maps, wasn't it? Google Maps and, I and iPhone Maps. I iPhone, I don't know why they didn't actually just partner up and use Google Maps instead of their phone. They ended up making their own apps, which I don't really, I don't know if people use the iPhone Maps, which I don't really use. I usually use a Google Maps instead, but I don't know whether or not if you're on Uber now, would you want to just go for Ben and just invest in your own network system, your own autonomous driving system, or would you want to then just piggyback off the back of what Tesla's already done and the years and years of research and experimentation and iteration that they've had over the years? Well, I don't know. But then what would that cost you in terms of revenue splits for that malarkey? Who knows? Uh, so we'll sh we'll sh when you use the car, we'll show you our ride sharing app. That is amazing, isn't it? That is so cool. Get in and go for a drive. It's really simple. That is so cool. You just take the same Tesla app that you currently have, which we'll, we'll update the app and add a summon, summon Tesla or, or commit your car to the fleet. Wow. Elon suggested an alternative use for your car than sitting in your driveway or work parking lot. Like so here's the time. Your car uh, is about 10 to 12 hours a week. So most people will drive um, one and a half to two hours a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a, um, a car that can operate autonomously 
then most likely you probably you most likely you have that car operate for a, a third of the week or longer. With additional wear in the car due to extended use, it can cause one to question. How long will these robo taxis last? So the current cost of a Model 3 robo taxi is um, less than thirty-eight thousand dollars. We expect that number to improve over time. The entire vehicle back to back improves of um, it is designed to operate for many miles with minimal maintenance. You won't need steering wheels or pedals, and we'll just leave those. So as as that would be amazing. Said, Im- imagine imagine sitting. It's already freaky. I've watched the video. There's a video I'm gonna get up in a minute of the um, autonomous vehicle um, driving around. It just looks so gnarly. It's so awesome. You forget just how incredible and how impressive it is to see a car just driving itself around a neighborhood, switching lanes, uh, turning, stopping at traffic. It just it just blows your mind. But imagine getting into an Uber, a, a robo taxi, uh, and then um, it having no steering wheel having no pedals it is driving you around that's going to be fucking gnarly as fuck so i'm assuming they're going to use the phone in the app just basically scan your your phone and it jump in and you're able to drive around that'd be fucking awesome and i wonder how cheap it would be too compared to uber oh oh actually you know what actually you know what would be funny um uh if i bet right people would probably would you probably i think i would would you pay more that's the thing I don't, I do. I don't know how people's behaviors are, but mine has changed, right? When I get into Ubers nowadays, I don't, I, I, I hardly ever, unless I'm with a group of people, ever ask the driver if I can put my own music on. I just leave it. I just sit down and just chill. I let them have radio on. I don't know. I just think there's so many kids out there that get in Ubers and just fucking crank up the fucking little yachty and stuff. It probably pisses them off. So I don't want to do that. I'll just leave it, right? So if anything's going to happen, I'll just be on my phone or the Uber driver start talking to me and have a conversation. But I don't want to disturb their own. I just want to get in the car, they have them drive me on, I want to drive and jump off. But there's also occasions, there's also been occasions recently where I've kind of don't want, I kind of didn't want to engage in conversation. I kind of just kept my answers really short. I didn't want to talk just because I just didn't want to talk, right? I knew I was going to a party. I was going to be talking all day long or I don't know. I just wasn't in the mood to kind of talk that day. So I wonder, is there a portion of people out there who would, wouldn't mind paying a premium to use a robo taxi? just so they can jump into a car that has a Bluetooth speaker system already set up where you can just connect to straight away. Um, don't need to talk to anybody. And you can just sit there on your own, right? That would be quite cool. You can have a sleep, you can have whatever. You can just relax on your own inside the car. People probably pay a premium to do that, right? I know I would. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind paying more. But I think they're saying that it's going to be even cheaper than it would be to do Uber, which is fucking insane. Right share apps. Um, cost of ride sharing is uh, $0.2 Uber left is 2 to $3 a mile. Um, Bloody hell. As for making money with your That's insane. Um, That's insane. We think probably something on the order of thirty thousand dollars per year. By the middle of next year, uh, we'll have over a million Tesla cars on the road with full self driving hardware, feature complete, uh, at a reliability level that we would consider uh, that no one needs to pay attention. Meaning you go to sleep in your from our standpoint. You fast forward a year, a little maybe a year, maybe a year and three months, uh, at, but next year for sure, we will have over a million robo taxis on the road. That is really cool, man. That is super, super, super impressive. And again, I just. I get. I think we, we we forget to realize just how impressive that work is that Elon Musk is doing, self driving cars. And I think I, in general, anyway, I think the future for me personally, when I drive cars, is going to be for me to get a Tesla. I know I want to own one. I think nowadays he's. I think he just said recently the update is that because of the robot taxi plan, they've changed the lease agreement. I think with a lease agreement, you could lease the, uh, a Tesla and you could buy it at the end. Uh, but now I'm going to. I think what I'm going to do is actually buy a Tesla outright once I save up the adequate amount of cash. And just have it as a car. I think it's worth the investment. Uh, Thirty grand for a car um, that you can essentially, you know, charge. You know, you can charge at most power stations. It may be, and it drives itself. It's an incredible ride experience. It's something that's worthwhile. Um, let me quickly show you the video of the the car, you know, driving itself around and stuff. Just to, you know, again, it blew my mind. Hopefully, it blows yours. But this is incredible. I think they've kind of showcased it again. It just takes off and zooms around. It's just going like it's just incredible to see that you know a car driving itself essentially. You drive, start, sit in the passenger seat. You could probably sit at the back if you wanted to. I think there was a, there was a video of somebody doing that, wasn't it? Of a kid just sitting in the back seat of a car while the Tesla was driving him around. That was fucking gnarly on a motorway. <laughs> but this is so freaky. It's gonna be freaky to see that in general. Like people, you know, I'm sure there'll be 
um, high value executives and stuff and all those kind of people sitting at the back of their seat conducting business deals this is going to up the level of productivity of people so much isn't it the guys that do travel around with their car driving around places in terms of, you know uh, sales people wherever they may be high high flying executives this is going to really up their productivity productivity levels you'd hope so anyway sitting in the car and you know doing what they're doing um it's going to be insane and for again for the people that for the for the parents of young kids too who don't want their kids jumping into ubers with strangers this is great too because essentially they're going to be jumping into a car they can alert their parents when they're on their way home there's going to be no driver there it's going to be completely safe it's just them in the car in there the only ones that they can unlock it bloody blah 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 it's going to be an incredible incredible experience to see but yeah these cars just driving themselves around the place is just fucking insane again i i think we forget how cool this stuff is because we're just so used to seeing it um i think teslas go for around 30 grand um nowadays um again it's worth kind of investing in it's something that i will definitely i think that's definitely gonna be my first car First of all, I've got to get a license anyway. I'm just going to get automatic license, of course, because, you know, this car is like a go-kart for the most part. I'm just going to get an automatic license. That's going to be my car going forward. 100%, man. It's just insane. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Um, it, keep, it keeps going around. Um, I think it's going through. A, I think this is, I think someone I've read in the comments, this is um, whoever's driving the cars from them, from their location at home all the way to Tesla um, actual factory. And then, you know, takes off his seatbelt, press the button, opens the door. Lock closes it and it completely shuts off the, the whole car. Like, so cool, right?